the one you looking for the messiah is here Shalom praise the lord glory of dios A lot of things are going on right now as you know around the world Everywhere people are curious what's going on and why everything is changing. The climates are changing and the wars uh, of rumors are all over the place. And today I'm going to give you a lot of insight. I want you to tune with this video and this video especially I'm making for this young man from Chicago his name is Daniel and uh, he's been telling me they have been watching me for a while and they have seen my each and every video and maybe I can use their help uh but uh I'm trying to open today maybe they will understand what I'm trying to tell them and maybe they will write me back so uh today i'm going to go ahead and open a lot of mysteries and and that way you all will understand why i always tell you who i am so first of all let's go start with the dreams that i had or vision i had last week a tech on usa soil is imminent I am not sure it was USA but I think so it was USA because I was there and I saw three big 745 planes blow up but one of the plane looks like was military plane and had a lot of uh ammos or uh, bombs and when it blast in the air it was like the whole sky lightening up it was it was horrible and then on the ground the i think so it was a nypd or hy uh, houston police and they all were shooting uh to the enemies like enemies are already in the ground and they've been killing shooting each other so this is a uh, this this dream i had about 4 5 years ago and now it happened again so generally as you know that when the you have the dreams uh twice so decree been it's been decreed that it will be imminent so that's what i see that this is imminent it's coming something big huge is coming and it has to be happen asap because like i said that if you have the same dream twice uh it is imminent so that's one of the thing that i wanted to tell you it's coming so keep your eyes open and watch what's going on the second thing that in the my last video i already warn you I warn you and I read one of the scriptures from the Ezekiel if the righteousness stumble and uh, go away from their righteousness they will die in their sin and and their righteousness would, would not be count and the same thing for me if I don't warn you then I will be in trouble so as a prophet I have to warn you and I am warning you right now that things are coming very quickly and it will happen now uh there are a lot of things i'm going to go through today so please tune with me and watch this video because this is very important video for the daniel as i always told you the june of 1999 the son of men came from above with a cloud of heaven and he approached me and he rest upon me or you can say he led me into his presence now uh, uh, obviously you know you you all going to have a lot of uh, 
confusions about the ancient of days and ancient uh, 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 one. Now, I already told you several times the ancient one or ancient of days is like somebody was born before or something old, something old, something uh, before your generation, that's called antique. So, or ancient. So, if you read the Daniel chapter, let me go through Daniel chapter, and then I will make you understand about the ancient of days. So, this is the mystery. Why I tell you always that I am the Daniel from the dead. So, this is what I'm going to show you. In my vision at night, I looked, and there before me was one like a son of man. Coming with the cloud of heaven, he approached the Ancient of Days and was led into his presence. He was given authority, glory, and sovereign power. All people, nations, and men of every language worship him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that will not pass away, and his kingdom is... One that will never be destroyed. Now, you see the ancients of days. Now, who's this ancient of days? Now, if you go chapter Daniel, the, the one I just wrote, uh, read was 713. Daniel 713. But now I'm going to read is Daniel 1213. On 1213, God promised Daniel. As for you, go your way till the end. You will rest. And then at the end of the days, remember it says days, days. If it was end of day, the, when it is end of day, it's finished. But there is a days. So he says before the end of the days, you will rise to receive your allotted inheritance. What is his inheritance, which is his grandfather or father left him? The Jerusalem and kingship and what God have promised a King David that one of his, your son, will be on the throne forever and ever, which is what I read on 713. Now, God promised Daniel to come back. God promised Daniel to come back. So he is the one ancient of days. He is coming back because you all never see the Daniel because he was from the other generation. So this generation never seen him. So he called, that's why it's called him an ancient of days. So ancient of days is the Daniel, and I am the Daniel from the dead, second son of King David, or even if you do not consider him as a second son of King David, as it says that he was the second son of Abigail uh, from Carmel, and uh, also in First Chronicle uh, 3, uh, also it, show, uh, it, it shows that King David's son, the Caleb. Caleb is the one called Daniel. Or even if you go to the Daniel chapter, Daniel is from the tribe of the Judah. So all those things makes me the ancient of days. Now let me go to the rebuilding of the temple. Now, which is very critical things that I just find out. Now, I was counting the numbers. We are in 5782. And I said, wait a minute, if there is a 7,000 years of period and we have to be 1,000 years with a Lord in millennium, so there will be a 6,000 years total. And if we are in a 5782, then there will be 218 years still left. But 
according to me, no, it's not. We have about eight years left because I'm going to explain to you. But on 2018, so I was trying to figure it out why it, it's 218 still left. And we are in 5782. And then I was searching and according to some Rambam and sages and maybe uh, Kabbalah, uh, that we had uh, already uh, suffered 210 years in Egypt. So they're subtracting those 210. I am not sure why they're subtracting, I, 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 or maybe I'm misunderstanding, but when you subtract that 210 years, you come to 5782. You come to 5782, no doubt. But on the same time, I went to 70 years of prophecy of Daniel 924 to 927. And it shows, okay, first of all, they need to know that whatever the Christians people are talking about, the Antichrist or a false prophet or false Messiah will be on the temple. It is true because it shows, it tells in the, in the Daniel chapter, I'm going to read the 924 to 927 and you will know exactly where am I going. So I put 70 times 7, 490 years been given to us. So I put 490 years, subtract from, from the 6,000 years and it comes to 1750 or 53 something, sorry. So if you, if you did a 490, but forget about 490 subtract, just subtract the seven, last seven years of 490 years. And then 210 years, and we comes to 5782 or 5789. Uh, uh, because another seven years. So right now, we are very close. We have a only left is a seven, seven and a half years. From the April, or maybe from the June, if you can count, we have about seven years left. So on these seven years, to build the temple, and, and the false prophet will be on the on the temple also and desolate the temple all those things is in seven years and it's written so i am not sure if i will able to build the temple or they will use this false messiah to build the temple to help him help them to build the temple and make them feel like that he is helping and the end of the three and a half years when the building will be ready the temple will be ready he will act like that he is the one did everything and he is the one messiah and he will the one remember they've been talking about the there will be a new a Torah and there will be a new uh, laws and of course it says over here that he will change the law he will change the law maybe he will bring the new book but remember after three and a half years later which is seven years period first so three and a half years maybe that we're going to build the building then three and a half years later, he will take over the control of the temple. But then he will be stopped. So I'm going to read and, and, and that way I can make you understand what exactly 924 to 927 is talking about. Because if you read also chapter uh, uh, 7, Let's go to the seven. It says over here, as I watching, as I watching, uh, as I watched, this horn was waging war against the saints and defeating them until the ancient 
of days came and pronounced the judgment in the favor of the saints of the Most High. And the time came when they possessed the kingdom. So you see that the false Messiah or this guy, whoever it is, he is waging the war against the saints. And again, on the same chapter, if you go down there, it says over here, he will speak against the Most High and oppress his saints and try to change the set times and the laws. The saint will be handed over to him for a time, time and a half a time. Now, this time, time and a half a time, the time of the building the temple, or it could be the temple will be built nicely under his control, but then he will take over the control of the temple. That's what I see. So right now, either even if I'm telling you, let's start the building the temple, let's start, the, I've been telling you last three years. 57799, I started this movement and I told you, let's start the building. If we would have built the building now, now he would be, we would be in a different position. But now the thing is three and a half years is already passed by. And now if we're going to build the temple, then he is the one and I see. I see the most of the uh, chief rabbi and the big rabbi right now, they've been talking to uh, UAE and, and some other countries to, to build a, a temple with, uh, with the consent of them because they, they're also probably thinking that, well, let's build the temple. Our Mehdi and, and their Ben David could be the same person. And... And uh, maybe they will come to know that, that, that uh, the temple is built uh, by uh, Muslims. So they're Muslim Messiah and everybody will turn into the Muslim. But that's not the scenario right now. But the, that's what they are trying to planning to build the temple. So maybe I may not come in the picture. I don't know till... And then the Revelation chapter will open where the two prophets will die and rose again because I'm going to show you right now that Daniel 9.24 to 9.27 shows that anointed one will be killed but not for himself. Now, I'm going to tell you why it's me. It will shock you. 9.24 to 9.27. So this is what the this is what it says, 77s are decreed for your people and your holy city to finish. 490 years, which is, I told you, if you subtract from, uh, uh, just subtract 218 years and then minus seven, because last seven years is the one when the false Messiah will be on the temple. So 77s are decree for your people and your holy city to finish. Transgression, to put an end to sin, which is on 6,000 years. To atone for a wickedness, to bring in everlasting righteousness, to seal up vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy. Know and understand this. From the issuing of the decree to restore and rebuild Jerusalem until the anointed one. So it says, till the anointed one come, the Jerusalem will be rebuilt. The ruler comes, there will be a seven, seven and seventy, sixty two, seven. So seven times seven plus sixty two, seven is four hundred and eighty three. And it says the ruler will come. So 483, which is we about to enter, which is 69 week. We about to enter into the 70 week. We are end of the 69 week right now. So it says 483 will be finished and, and the ruler will rise. Now, remember, I am not the ruler. 
I am not the Antichrist, I am not the false Messiah. The false Messiah is about to enter and people will able to see who he is. Or maybe he will work under cover for three and a half years, act like that he is helping to build the temple. So this is what he says over here. 60 to 7 will pass. It will rebuild with the street and the trench, but the time of the trouble. So there will be this three and a half years while there will be a temple will be built. There will be a lot of troubles. After the 62 sets of seven, the anointed one will be cut off. Now, when they say anointed one will be cut off, the Christian thinks that was Jesus being cut off. And there is only one week left, 69 weeks. No. When you count 60 to 7, it's 434 years. Now, listen very carefully. The day I born, 4 7 1962, to exactly June of 1999. If you count, is exactly 434 months or years or whatever you count, months, is equal to 36 years. So 36 years later, the Son of Man came and rest upon me. So what God was showing me, 70 weeks of prophecy started 420 to 490, which is 70 weeks of prophecy. So I am in the middle, 434, at June of 1999. June of 1999 was 434, and then you go back 420 to 490, which is exactly 470 years. So, 490 years, sorry. So, this is what if you put exactly in the 6,000 years, we are on 69 week. 69 week about to enter. That means the Antichrist or false Messiah will ready to come and help to build the temple because you haven't chosen me yet. You haven't chosen your Moshiach. So what I see that anointed one will be cut off, which is me. It's me and the another person, the Ben Joseph. Now, I know the last week I talked about the Ben Joseph. That I don't know who he is, but there are two scenarios that they were thinking. One is from Jonathan's side, uh, uh, from the soul, and the other one is from the Joseph side, Ephraim. Yes, the, now in Hosea chapter, the whole Hosea is is mainly talking about Ephraim and the Judah. So I have a feeling that uh, whatever the Rambam and uh, 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 Sages and uh, Kabbalah, Johar, whatever, uh, whoever wrote it down, they probably are also thinking that one of the anointed one should be from Ephraim because Joseph is the one uh, bring everybody out uh, uh, from the bondage. So, all those things I told you in my last thing, uh, last uh, episode. But this one that I want you to understand where am I going? Because a temple will be built on the troublous time. Means time will time is right now, and like I said, that attacks are imminent. Attacks are imminent. Uh, of course, it will be uh, all over the world, but I saw uh, on this soil. So I am not sure, but like I said, that I am just giving you the warning that things are coming, like, like uh, all these Rambam and, and rabbis are telling you, go back to Israel. Pack your bag and go back to Israel. And they are right. Remember, 
I told you there are some righteous rabbis and they knows and they knows exactly what I'm talking about also but they do not want to take serious they do not it, it is it's going to happen exactly just like in the past synagogues of satan will be there there are always judas he will be there and he will be telling wrong thing and there are certain will be accepting and certain won't accept but the ruler will rise it says ruler will rise and and it is about time because june of 1999 he came so if you come from june of 1999 he will be enter so we we have about 3 4 months let's see before the pass over uh if they decided and and put the right person then maybe things will change i don't know but according to the number wise what i see is seven years left unless god stretch another 10 years but which is already been stretch it's already been stretch in, in uh, 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 2020 2017 he stretched to 2028 which is another 10 years which is 80 years like in psalm 89 10 says that if we stretch it will be 80 years but 70 years been given so 2028 we are in 2022 right now so it just started 2022 so you looking at good 7 years or 6 and 1/2 years which is mentioned over here if you also read chapter 8 it says it will take 2300 days and nights which is 6 and 1/2 years before we take over the kingdom before we throw the rulers out before we capture the ruler forever and ever that's what in the end says so let me read the end so what does it says in the end so it says the people of the ruler who will come will destroy the city and the sanctuary you see the sanctuary which is the temple okay let's read for again uh it will be rebuilt with a street and a trench but in time of trouble after the 627 the anointed one will be cut off and will have nothing the people of the ruler who will come will destroy the city and the sanctuary which is the temple the end will come like a flood war will continue until the end and desolations have been decreed he will confirm a covenant with many for one seven in the middle of the seven he will put to the end so after three and a half years he will put to the end so either three and a half years will to build the temple then another seven years on that three and a half years he will control and then he will be captured I hope you understand what I'm talking about. So these three and a half years, we're looking at the building the temple, and the another three and a half years, he will control, and then he will be captured. So look at this. Uh, he will put an end to saying, uh, sancti- uh, sacrifice and offering, and on a wing of the temple, on the wing of the temple, he will set up. and abominations and causes desolation until the end there is decreed is poured out on him so you see he will be captured but let me tell you what does it says he will consider himself a superior when they feel secured <coughs> he will destroy many and take his stand against the prince of prince yet 
he will be destroyed but not by human power i hope you understand that he has spiritual power from his father from his the father the devil and that's why he cannot be killed by human being he will be only killed by spiritual power from our father and so that's what i'm going on revelation chapter because time is very close i'm not sure if they're going to choose me or not and i don't care because let me tell you i already been saved god have blessed me god have choose me in 8 billion people to see me the end time he had promised me that i will see the end time through my eyes so i'm here only one thing i can tell you right now that either you choose me as asap and we can start building the temple and you put the right man to start the building the temple and maybe maybe God will change his plan I am not sure but if you don't then definitely that I've been prophesying you for last three and a half years and that's what it says the two prophet will be prophesying you for three and a half years I don't know who else is there is talking like me but there's somebody else has to be telling you again and again that do right thing do right thing listen to your prophet god always send you the prophet before the destruction comes and he is been warning you i've been warning you after warning you after warning you for 3 and half years now 5779 i was there i told you in jerusalem and that day i was in the middle of the wailing wall and i said i am your moshiach and they all didn't listen they didn't believe but wise listen foolish despise if you really know your word then you know what i'm talking about if the son of man rest upon me from the cloud came to me now i can open mystery after mystery like i said in the ancient one came to see the ancient one and that's what it is exactly because if you don't believe jesus then you do not have no choice but believe me because god have sent me to you because he came from above and rest upon me like i show you that big ancient of days is the daniel because daniel supposed to come back and that's why the spirit of the lord is rest upon him and god is doing the work through me you have no choice you have a right now choice choose cursing or blessing the blessing will be by choosing me the cursing by choosing the wrong man and start building the temple because you cannot build the temple without me so if you going to build the temple by thinking that you got the right man then all those things will come anyway so it's all up to you i been time after time i've been warning you and i've been warning you i've been gone through new york two times and i told them who i am everybody knows that i've been talking about this for a while these kids are watching in chicago young kids and they're watching me and he put one video that am i the real moshiach yes i am the real moshiach but it is not going to be easy it is not going to be easy for you guys and it's not going to be easy for me either even though if you choose me it's going to be very tough for me because there will be always sitting eyes of satan and till their time is over i have to suffer 
I have to drink the cup of suffering that my father have left for me. Without that, nothing will stop. Corona is still going up and up. Uh, <clears throat> in fact, I was very sick last week, but uh, I know that I will overcome, and I did overcome. Uh, you can still see on my face that I am kind of down, um, but uh, everything is uh, clear. Uh, God, uh, uh, you know, put the spirit upon me and cleaned me up, and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm in a good shape. Uh, but I am coming. I am coming. I, how I'm going to come, I, how everything's going to fall, I am not sure. But there are two things, like I told you. It could be by miraculously I will come, just like what it says in the Revelation chapters, that after two prophets will die and rose again on the third day, then you whole world will know that God is real and you all choose the wrong person and then three and a half years later we will come back with our army and capture the false messiah this is what exactly going to happen false messiah will about to enter and things gonna get very ugly now you see, everything is written. I do not have to uh, prophesy anything because everything is over here. I am not a witchcraft, but the God has already given us this book and everything is written. And the, all the prophecies been fulfilled. <clears throat> you know that it's already been fulfilled and it's fulfilling except the rebuilding of the temple. And that is about to happen because, like I said, I still do not understand that 210 years, that 210 years that they are uh, uh, saying that because we were in Egypt, why they're subtracting that, I don't know, 6,000 years is 6,000 years. So I am not sure where this 218 years is getting disappeared. So... <clears throat> Or 210 years. So this is where I am confused also. So maybe a Daniel, uh, um, the Daniel, the, not the Daniel prophet, but the Daniel. Uh, uh, see if you can figure it out and understand what I'm saying. But but definitely we are in a 69 weeks entering. I mean, uh, 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 70 weeks we're going to be in enter right now, and uh, things going to be changed. Now, uh, uh, the, the other things are, you see the volcanoes are erupt. Uh, in India, I heard that there is a flood all over. Uh, the, the snows are melting. Uh, what else going on? I mean, it, it's everywhere. Everywhere something is going on. The, now they're talking about drought in India because of the water. So all, the, all these things are coming and I want you to get ready and like your Rambam and Rabbi said, get out. Get out from the New York or you will be, you will be left over. Just like the Moses time. Uh, whoever murmur, whoever complain, they left over, they never been to the promised land and that will happen. That will happen. There are a lot of uh, Jew in uh, New York, Florida, Chicago, the major city who they live, Seattle, uh, they all won't, won't move because it's, it's very, uh, right now, very secure over here. But like I said, I saw the imminent threat to U.S. soil, and that's what going to scare everybody off because if something happen over here you know that it's going to be war all all out it's going to be all over the world there will be the war going to start so this is what i have for today uh, i pray for everybody 
that you all understand where am I going. I am your anointed one. I am your branch. I am the son of King David. I am the ancient of days. And I am the one to build the temple. I am the stumbling rock. Like I told you, use me right now or destroy me. Whatever you like. But everything is controlled by God. And I will be back. I will be back to capture the false Messiah. Thank you and God bless you.